which me mom says. So in this video, um, magbalance ulit tayo yung redox equation using half reaction method. By this, but by this time, um, basic solution naman siya. Okay? So use the half reaction method to balance the given equation. So the given equation here is Ag plus Zn2 positive aqueous yields to Ag2O I'm sorry. Masyado malayo yung oxygen. Ayan. So, Ag2O plus Zn S. Okay? So, use, uh, using the half reaction method, this is a basic solution. So, at this point, we will add, um, we will add OH negative ion or hydroxide ion to both sides of the equation for every H positive ion present. Okay? So, depende kung ilan yung H positive ion present, yun din yung ilalagay mong OH negative ion. Okay? So, the H positive ions on one side are combined with the added OH negative ions to form H2O. Okay, and OH negative ions appear on the other side of the equation. Okay, so ma may intindihan niyo to habang nag nagba-balance tayo ng um ng equation. Okay, so we will use this um equation. Okay? Ayan. So rewrite lang natin yung given natin na equation, Ag plus Zn2 positive. Okay? Yields to Ag2O aqueous plus ZnS. Okay? So, same lang sila ng step. Mamaya makikita nyo kung ano lang yung difference nila mamaya. Okay? So, step number one, divide the reaction into half reactions. Okay? So, we have here the given reaction sa taas. So, same species, anapin mo, we have here Ag, Ag2O, ayan, and then Zn and Zn here, okay? So, we will have now Ag, okay, 2Ag2O, and Zn, 2 positive, and we have here Zn solid, okay? So, this is for the first step. For the second step, Balance atoms and charges in each half reaction. So, it's divided into four. So, we have here letter A, atoms other than OH. Balance oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. Balance hydrogen atoms by adding H positive ions. And balance charge by adding electrons. So, for step number two, um, babalance natin yung atoms and charges ng bawat half reaction. So, we will have here Ag, S yields to Ag, 2O, Aquarius. Okay? So, need natin siyang i-balance. So, nakikita nyo dito, your Ag here is 2. So, therefore, maglalagay ka rin ng 2 dito as coefficient. So, dalawa na siya. So, your Ag now is balanced. Okay? Next, we have here Zn, 2 positive. And we have Zn solid. Okay. So, we're talking about first the atoms. Sa atoms lang tayo. So, one dito, isa lang dito. So, balance na si Zm. Okay. So, letter B. Balance O atoms or oxygen atoms by adding ha, um, H2O molecules. So, for letter B, we have here Ag yields to Ag2O aqueous. Okay? So, meron tayong given na oxygen dito. So, kapag may given na oxygen, mag-add lang tayo ng water molecule. Pero yung pag-add natin ng water molecule, nakadepende rin syempre dito. Ilan ba yung oxygen atom na given dito? Very good. Isa lang. So, therefore, mag-add lang tayo ng isang water molecule. So, we will add H2O, H2O liquid plus Ag solid yields to Ag2O aqueous. Okay? So, next we have Zn2 positive yields to Zn S. Okay? So, since wala namang given oxygen dyan, 
So, walang magbabago dito kay ZN. Dito sa isang half reaction na to. Okay? So, for letter C, balance H atoms by adding H positive ions. So, from the given equation, half reaction dito sa dalawa, sulat natin, we have here H2O liquid plus AG solid. So, we have AG2O aqueous. Okay? So, since meron tayong H dito, so, ilan yung H na given natin dito? Dalawa. So, ibig sabihin yan, mag-add ka rin ng dalawang H positive. Okay? Ayan. So, balance na sila. Next, si ZN. Si ZN, wala ka namang H dito. So, wala rin, walang magbabago dito kay ZN. As is lang siya. Okay? So, next, balance charge by adding electrons. So, copy mo lang ulit yung, letter, yung um, reaction na meron sa letter C. So, we have here H2O liquid plus AGS yields to AG2O aqueous plus 2H positive aqueous. Okay? So, check natin. Itong nasa reactant side, wala siyang charge, di ba? Okay? Tapos, pagating dito sa product side, meron siyang charge. Ilan? Dalawa. Okay? So, mag-add ka ngayon ng dalawang electrons. Okay? So, pag nag-add tayo ng dalawang electrons dito, magiging zero na rin sila. So, balance na sila. Okay? And next, we have Zn2 positive. Okay? Aqueous yields to Zns. Okay? So, ang charge nito is zero. Okay? Eh, dito, meron kang charge, which is 2 positive. So, para maging um, zero din to, you will add how many electrons? Okay, you will add 2 electrons. Okay, so, so, balance na rin yung charge nila. Okay, so that is for step 2. Balance atoms and charges in each half reaction. Okay, for step number 3, Multiply half, uh, multiply each half reaction by an integer to e equalize number of electrons. So from the given, ito, kukuha ni natin tong um equation na to. So we have here H two O liquid plus two A G solid yields to A G two O aqueous plus two H positive plus 2e negative and then we have zn2 positive aqueous plus 2 electrons yields to zn solid okay so may mo multiply ba tayong integer dito para ma-equalize yung number of electrons ang number of electrons na meron dito ay 2 ang number of electrons na meron din dito ay 2 so therefore um wala tayo parehas lang sila so wala tayong i-multiply na integer sa kanila para maging equal yung number of electrons nila. So, as is yan. Okay? So, for your step number 4, add the half reactions together. So, add lang natin. So, magiging H2O H2O liquid plus 2AG solid yields to AG2O aqueous plus 2H positive plus 2E negative. So, we have also Zn2 positive plus 2E negative yields to Zns. Okay? So, pag i-add natin to, ayan, so, makakancel na natin ngayon si 2 electrons. Okay? So, ang matitira na lang dyan ay H2O liquid plus 2Ag solid plus Zn2 positive. Okay? Yields to Ag2O aqueous plus 2H positive plus Zn solid. Okay? So, hindi pa yan tapos yung pag-add ng half reaction. Since this is um, base, uh, basic solution, um, since we have 2H positive here, we will balance the H positive by adding OH negative. Okay? So, in basic solution, sa so step number 4, kasama yung pag-add ng OH negative to balance H positive. Okay? So, 
here we have there are two net protons in this equation so we will add two hydro um two hydroxide ions okay to each side okay so kung mag-add tayo na ng dalawang hydroxide dito we will have H2O liquid plus 2 Ag solid plus Zn2 positive aqueous positive yan okay plus 2 OH negative yields to Zn okay sunod-sunod na natin ayan um we have we will have Ag Ag2O aqueous plus plus 2 H positive plus 2 OH negative plus Zn solid. Okay. Lagyan natin ito. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. So, ayan. Mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawa dito, di ba? Tapos may dalawa dito. By this time, ang gagawin natin dyan, we will combine OH ions and H positive ions that are present on the same side to form water. But since meron lang tayong H positive dito sa product side, ito lang yung gagawin natin. Ito lang yung pagkocombine natin. Okay? Pag magkocombine tayo dyan, it will form um, water It will form water. Okay? So, yan ay magiging um, isulat ko lang din ng ibang ano, ibang color. Ayan. So, magiging H2O liquid plus 2Ag solid plus Gn2 positive aqueous plus 2OH negative aqueous yields to Ag2O Aquarius plus ilang dalawa plus dalawa so magiging um, dalawang water okay so two water plus zinc solid okay so since meron ka dito H positive at saka OH pag pinagcombine mo sila it will form water so ilan yan dalawang um, dalawang water siya Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, ikakancel na natin yung water dito at saka itong isang water dito. So, since dalawa siya, magiging isa na lang siya. Okay? So, your, um, the reaction or the equation for step number 4 will be this. Ag, ito na lang. So, ito na lang ang magiging equation mo. Ayan. Okay? Ayan. So, hindi pa yun yung final answer. Okay? Kasi, step number 5, check the atoms and charges kung balance sila. So, we have here 2 Ag plus zinc 2 positive plus 2 OH negative yields to zinc solid plus Ag2O plus H2O liquid. Okay? So, alamin natin kung tama sila. Si AG, may dalawa. Okay? Dalawa dito, dalawa rin dito. So, balance. Si, sige, sulit natin. AG here is 2. AG here is 2. Okay? Zinc here, we have 1. Okay? Zinc here, we have 1. Ayan. O here, we have 2. Um, okay? 2. O here, we have 1, 2. So, dalawa din. And your H here is 2. H is 2. So, the number of atoms in the given um, equation ay balance. So, tama. How about the charge? So, ang charge nito, we have 2 um, positive, tapos dalawang negative. Dito ay wala. So, pag pinag-add natin 2 positive at saka dalawang negative, 0. So, your charge here is 0. Your charge here is zero. So, balance sila. Okay? So, tama. Step number five, tama sila. So, this will be your balance redox reaction. Okay? So, this will be your final answer.
Ganun lang siya kasimple. Just follow the steps. Basta kapag basic solution, um, sa step number 4 lang sila nagkakaiba ng acidic solution. Okay? So, if you have questions regarding this, um, PM lang kayo sa akin. I hope natutunan nyo yung kung paano mag-balance ng redox equation or reaction sa basic solution using half-reaction method. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.